You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and those who are great exercise authority over them. Yet it shall not be so among you. But whoever desires to become great among you, let him be your servant. And whoever desires to be first among you, let him be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. In this instance, what Jesus was introducing is what is called a paradigm shift. Up until that time, there were certain considerations and certain protocols. And he said, I am introducing something new to you. And I believe it's important for us to understand paradigm shifts. We can either be initiators, we can be participators, or we can be victim paradigm shifts. To explain paradigm shifts, a paradigm is a way of looking at the world. It is a perspective on facts. The ruling paradigm up to the 70s was that waste is a natural byproduct of efficient manufacturing. Once we became aware of the resource constraints and of pollution, we gradually acquired a new perspective and a new paradigm emerge. This new paradigm became more, power, more powerful and led to cleaner production and recycling. Another paradigm shift has occurred where waste has now become a resource. You know, I noted several years ago, not too, not too um, distant past, that we had someone come to the Bahamas and agree to pay for our garbage. That's a paradigm shift. That's something that wasn't thought about before. And as we look at life, there are shifts that are happening, and we have to determine where we fit into the shift, whether we will be initiators, participators, or victims. You know, I had an interesting conversation, a few conversations with my daughter, a couple of times I, I said to her, I said, uh, do you have any cash? I said, no. Another time, do you have any cash? No. She never has cash. And then I began to realize it's a paradigm shift. Millennials don't carry cash. Um, once we realize new facts, it's a necessary shift. When I look at our country, our electorate, our population is getting smarter. They are demanding more when it comes to accountability. And so it's hard to do the same things you used to do in the past. I remember when I first came home from school and uh, I, I was working in a government department and I had the task of going around the island to institute some programs. And as I traveled the island, Go on a road, and then all of a sudden, the road would be paved, and then you'll roads and all kinds of stuff. And I asked the people, what happened? They said, well, you can tell how voted based upon how, what the road looks like. <laughs> but eventually, that shifted. And shifts keep, keep happening. And so I think it's very important for us to be aware of new paradigm and to position ourselves so that we are either initiators or participators and not victims. And this example that Jesus established, he was basically showing his disciples that going forward, how you did it in the past is not going to work. This is the new paradigm, and this is what I established. And we have to pay attention to the paradigm that God said. Amen? Amen bow our heads together. Father God, we just thank you once again for bringing us here for this opportunity to conduct business on behalf of the country. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your wisdom as we proceed. And we trust and believe that everything would happen decently and in order 
and there would be a favorable outcome from our deliberations and discussions today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. We desire the temptation, and deliver us from evil. For that is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Brent Simonet, Desmond Bannister, Renwood Bell, Jeffrey Lloyd, Dr. Greenspan, Marvin Dane, Frankie Campbell, Benicio Diagla, Michael Pintard, Baron Henfield, Jamal Ferrera, Nisha Rose, Renzel Rose, Ellsworth Johnson, Philip Davis, Vaughn Miller, Patricia Parker Edgum, Aaron Lewis, Carlton Bolag, James Albrecht, Travis Robinson, Adrian Gibson, Donald Saunders, Frederick McElpine, Hank Johnson, Mark Green, Michael Folk, Miriam Reckley Emanuel, Ruth Chipman, Ruben Ramey, Ricky Mackey, Shannon Don Cartwright, Chanel Ferguson, Lennis Hannah Martin, Faisal Forbes, and Chester Cooper. Good morning, honorable members. Honorable members, uh, congratulations are uh, in order for the honorable member for St. Barnabas, who over the weekend, I received information, uh, received his award from Prairie View uh, University for an honorary doctorate degree. So the member for St. Barnabas now can be referred to as the Honorable Dr. <laughs> Shannon Don Cartwright. Congratulations. Uh, on a sad note, on the weekend, I also received information on the passing of Edward, Sir Edward, Charles Carter. Uh, we all know Sir Edward Charles Carter as a cultural icon in the Bahamas, a uh, broadcaster of the highest order who gave his entire life uh, in service to this country. He was a member of parliament for the Holy Cross constituency a constituency that I lived in at the time. I had the opportunity to work with him and to help him build uh, some buildings in that constituency. He was also a mentor to me, having had roots in Grady Nagua. He actually took me under his wings in 1992 and accompanied me on many campaign trips in the Inagua McGuana constituency. He was also a basketball player, uh, a tennis player, uh, a, a, a member of what we call the Priory Grounds, the Rats of the Priory Ground. Uh, uh, and he was certainly a very patriotic Bahamian. The Bahamas will certainly miss the likes of Sir Edward Charles Carter. Uh, and as a former member of parliament, a cabinet minister, I would like for all us, us, for us to rise now in a moment of silence. Thank you, Honorable Members. <clears throat> Honorable Members, I 
received a communication from the Honorable Member for Cat Island, Ramkey, and San Salvador, the leader of the Her Majesty's official opposition, uh, with respect to uh, a matter that occurred on the 5th of May in this, this chamber. Just before we proceed with the Honorable Member matters, um, to complete the process, the Chair is reminded to complete the pro procedure after which the Honorable Member for Cat Island, Ramkey, and San Salvador, having made a, a, a prima facie case, would be given 15 minutes by the rule to present his case. But before we do so, I wish at this time to invite the motion with respect to the suspension and the naming and the suspension handed down on the 5th of May by the Deputy Speaker. Chair recognizes the Honorable Member for Southern Shore. Speaker, I move that the period of the suspension uh, for the remainder of that session will suffice. Is there a second? No? Second. Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the period of the suspension be restricted to the afternoon of the Wednesday, the 5th of May, with respect to the member for Cat Island, from Key and San Salvador. As many members who are in favor will remain seated, those proposed will stand. Chair recognizes the honorable member for Cat Island, Ramkey, and San Salvador. Speaker, I was not suspended from the house. You were named. I was not named either. Neither of those, that's, that's, that is the genesis of my letter to you, sir. Because neither of those things happened. The member, the, the, the chair at the time said, and that's why um, I did not I, I did get a message from you, but I thought I would have responded when I got the answer as before, because I, I have not yet received the minutes of the meeting as reflected by answer. Well, if you have yeah, not, not yet, I, I had ordered that it be sent to you from first day or so of last week. I, I have not received it. I didn't get it. All right, so you're not prepared to proceed this morning? I'm not, but since we are on my feet, I could be, be talking from what I understood, what I knew happened, but I wanted to help, you know, just to, so that no one will, if there's any, any challenge to my recollection what happened, the hands out will be here to, to support it. Uh, so, because, uh, what, because I was not suspended, nor was I named. Uh, the chair, uh, when I, I said something from my speech, uh, because of, of, of because of remarks that was made by the chair earlier towards the member uh, from Anglican, I asked whether, and when he was challenged on those comments, he said it was not directed at the member for Anglican, but rather he was saying he's making a general statement. Before I was before the policeman was called for me by the chair. Um, I, he talked to, again, direct comment uh, to, to the member for Anglican. I asked for my chair. Now, is that for the member, is that directed at the member specifically? He thought to say, yes, this is about the member. And I then walked by said, well, I started to speak to say that it was inappropriate. He said, I am speaking, I am speaking. I said, but the chair, please listen to me, hear me. He then said, please, get him. I, that's why I, I want the record to show. That's, that's what happened. That, that, that is what oh, 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 Honorable members. <laughs> no, but see, no, I, no, that's, that's why I want to see, Mr. Speaker. That's why I said, 
if my recollection is incorrect, it could be um, corrected by the hand side. I don't want us to be saying what I, you say and I say, because I am clear. The member did not follow the rules. He did not name me, nor was I suspended. So I don't know this, this motion to say suspend the suspicion after pass. Honorable member. It's problematic. Honorable member. These things have been done. Okay. It can't um, be cured. The only cure now is to, is to censure the member who took your chair. Honorable member. Raise your hand for a moment. Thank you. Uh, uh, honorable member, if I'm understanding the position you're putting forward, you, you're suggesting to the chair and the house then that there's no issue. If you were not, if, from your perspective, if you were not named or suspended, there's no issue. Denying my ability to, to, to discharge my responsibility as a member of this parliament, right, by the chair by calling a police officer to remove me from him. I was about to go, but the officers came in here and they said, I'm putting their hands on me. I said, well, look, I'll, I'll, I'll leave. But they were about to put their hands on me to remove me. And that is what happened. Honorable member, honorable member, so that we can proceed. Um, let me just conclude the, the motion on the floor because the chair is satisfied from um, without going into the, any of the evidence that uh, you were named, you, uh, honorable member, you were named, your name was called. Uh, the, the motion was not invited at the time. And so, according to the rules, the question which should be put forth with on the motion could not be put because the motion was not invited at the time. Honorable member, uh, honorable member, you, you will have, honorable member, you will have your opportunity. You will have your opportunity when you get, get your 15 minutes. Uh, the chair has ruled that you have supplied a primer. Yes. Uh, uh, honorable member, um, I am advised by the clerk table that your transit was, re was delivered to your office on Thursday. Uh, I have a copy here. I, this is my copy, but I will uh, present this to you. Uh, and and uh, I would guess take the copy that they were going to make for you. Okay. Uh, um, can you pass this on to honorable members? So the question is on the floor. As many members who are in favor will remain seated, those who oppose will stand. The motion is carried. The honorable member uh, suspension for the remainder of the session on May 5th is it suffice and sustained. Now, with respect to the case put forward by the honorable member uh, uh, raising a matter of privilege. The chair is satisfied that the honorable member has uh, made a, a, a prima facie case and is hereby invited to speak on. for Cat Island, Ramki, and Sal San Salvador is hereby invited to speak on the matter for 15 minutes. The chair recognizes the honorable member for Cat Island, Ramki, and San Salvador. Uh, speaker, as was set out in my letter, the, the chair of the proceedings who assumed the chair after Lord Speaker submitted office. I mean, submitted the chair. Uh, 
shall deprive me of the and breach my privilege. Right? By calling upon the guardian arm. To take me the word they have in the transcript is dismissed. Dismiss me out of the house. He has no such authority. He has no such authority. And let's let me read the relevant portion of the Hansard as, as was as the official record of these proceedings. The Japanese speaker. This is after an exchange between himself and the member for Angleston. And this is his words, Deputy Speaker. The chair is speaking, Cat Island. The chair is speaking. No, I'm not listening to you, Cat Island. So the chair is refusing to listen to me. The chair is speaking. Cat Island, the chair is speaking. Officer. What do you call it, officer? Call the police. Call the police on me. The chair is speaking. Sergeant Rams, Sergeant Rams, Sergeant Rams. The chair is speaking, Kerala. Mr. Sergeant Rams, Sergeant Rams, Sergeant Rams. Can you dismiss Kerala out of the house, please? Oh. Philip Brave Davis, the member of Kerala and Ramkin Santalva, is now to be escorted out of the house. Mr. Sajarans. Sajarans, please carry out your duty. Please carry out your duty, Sajarans. The member of Kerala is excused for the rest of the evening. Please, please, please. The chair is speaking. Cat Island, Sajarans, please. Benson wants to leave. She can leave too. Sajarans, you can escort the member for Cat Island out, please. Can you, can you have, can you, Cat Island, you have to respect the chairman. Thank you. Very much, and then he said, "As many, because I think this is what this is this is transcript." Yeah. Uh, the rules of this house, Rule eighty-eight. Yeah, I said, I said when he said respect the chair, when the chair acts like a chair, then I. I didn't say that. I, I read the, I read what was in the transcript. I read what was in the transcript. I read what was in the transcript. Honorable members. I read what was in the transcript. Honorable members. Mr. Right. Speaker. Mr. Speaker. The first one, Speaker. This, under, under Rule 88. Of the rules of the house. 881 speaks to the speaker in the house or the chairman in committee of the whole house may require a member to withdraw a statement whether or, whether or not a point of order has been made by another member objecting to the statement and whether or not the statement is withdrawn. That deals with the withdrawal of statements. 882. The Speaker in the House or the Chairman Committee, after having called the attention of the House, called to the attention of the House or Committee to the conduct of a member who persists in irrelevance or in tedious repetition, repetition either of his own argument or of the arguments used by other members in the debate, may direct the member to discontinue in his speech and resume his seat. That's, that's separation two of Rule 88. The Speaker in the House or the Chairman and Committee shall order any member whose conduct is disorderly to withdraw immediately from the House or Committee for any period of the current sitting not exceeding two consecutive days. I was not I was not disorderly 
Nor was I asked to withdraw from the house. I was not asked to withdraw from the house. The member called the police. The sergeant arm. That's what he did. That contrary to that rule, Mr. Speaker. And then 884. If a member has, if a member has persistently and willfully obstructed the business of the house, that didn't happen. Misconducted himself in a grossly disorder, disorderly manner, that didn't happen. I was asking to be heard. And the speaker said, I'm speaking. Well, he could have stopped speaking and allowed me to be heard and then start speaking. That's an option. That was an option. He is the chair. He is the chair. He is the chair. Use objectionable words, which he has refused to withdraw. I use no objectionable words. No objectionable words identified to be, have been said by me. The system willfully refused to conform with the rules. But what, there was no rule in question at the time. The system again willfully disregarded the authority of the chair. He may be named by the speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, when you, you, you mentioned that you, 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 from all accounts that were available to you, um, I think you mentioned that I may have been named right now. These are the, these, those, one, two, three, four, there are five instances of which I could have been named. None of it, none of it, I think, were, were matters in which I engaged in. The Hansard does not support that I would have engaged in that. If a member is seeking to be heard, and that's all I was attempting to do, to be heard by the, the chair. That's what the chair's duty is, to hear the members. Hear me, and then continue. This is not, the, the chair is not to be getting in the free of matter. They're coming in the well of, of parliament. And that's what he did. So, and you, you have the transcript. Where did I, in, in, in respect to the, tr the transcript, you can see that I committed any of those infractions. That set out there in, in, in 88 4 of the rules to be named. Hence, I said I was never suspended. And, and the rule, and, and, and the transcript doesn't support the fact that he said I was suspended. So, Mr. I don't know uh, what got into the Deputy Speaker to conduct himself in such a fashion to breach my purpose. But I think at the end of the day, right, if, if this is the conduct to which this House is willing to embrace by a skill, fine. But it was despicable for the chair to call the police to remove a member because that member was only seeking to be heard. Thank, thank you. I'm sure recognize this honorable member for sudden show. Mr. Speaker, I move that this matter uh, be sent to the Committee on Privilege. Is there a second, though? Second. Uh, honorable members, uh, just before I put the question, I have the, 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 um, 
the handbook from the 5th of May. And I also asked to have the, the uh, video of the proceedings. So these uh, pieces of evidence will uh, accompany uh, and be sent to the committee on privilege to so and to the motion if the motion is successful. Uh, I now put the question, honorable members, that has been moved and seconded that the matter before this house with respect to the privilege of the uh, member for Cat Island, Rumkey and San Salvador being breached on the 5th of May be sent to the committee on privilege. As many members who are in favor will remain seated, those who oppose will stand. It's ordered that the, this matter be sent to the committee on privilege and it's also ordered that the documents the Hansard for the, the 5th of May together with the DVD uh, broadcast of the proceedings be sent to the Committee of Privilege. The Committee of Privilege will review the matter and make a determination and report to this house. All of that the document will lie on the table. Uh, Order the document to lie on the table. Asher. Yes. Introduction and swearing in of new members. Laying of documents by ministers. The chair recognizes on. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I beg leave to lay on the table of ours the proclamation of emergency. And um, proclamation states whereas Article 29 1 of the Constitution recognizes that the Governor General will make a proclamation that a state of public emergency exists, whereas Article 29.4 of the Constitution provides that a proclamation of emergency still, unless it is sooner revoked by the Governor General, cease to be enforced at the expiration of a period of 14 days beginning on the date on which it was made, or such longer period as may be provided under Paragraph 5 of this article, but without prejudice, the making of another proclamation of emergency at or before the end of that period. And whereas Article 29.5 of the Constitution provides that if at any time while a proclamation of emergency is enforced, including any time while it is enforced by virtue of the provisions of this paragraph, the resolution is passed by each House of Parliament proving its continuance enforced by a further period not exceeding six months beginning on the date on which it would otherwise expire, proclamation shall, if not sooner revoked, continue to enforce for that period of period. And whereas, despite the fact that a national vaccination distribution program is in progress, there remains a comparatively low percentage of fully vaccinated persons in the Bahamas. And whereas there is a third wave of infections on the island of McLaughlin and Frambano, which continue to cause illness and death in Bahamas. And whereas, according to the scientific and medical advice, COVID-19 is likely to persist as a pandemic in the Bahamas for a quarter of future. And whereas, I am satisfied that the COVID-19 pandemic continues to persist in the Bahamas. And therefore, I, the most honorable Cornelius, Alvin Smith, Governor General of Commonwealth Department, in exercise of the powers 
conferred upon me by Article 29.1 P of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Bahamas. Hereby I declare that A, with effect on the 14th day of May 2021, a state of public emergency exists in the Bahamas. And B, this proclamation of emergency shall continue for a period of 14 days unless extended by each other parliament by resolution, continuing its enforced for further period as provided Article 29.5 of the Constitution. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document will lie on the table. Further laying of documents by ministers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave to lay on the table of the House the copy of the following. Emergency Powers COVID-19 Pandemic Management and Recovery Regulation 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by minutes. Mr. Speaker, I beg leave to lay on the table of the House a copy of the Emergency Powers COVID-19 Pandemic Management and Recovery Order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave there on the table of the House a copy of the following emergency powers, COVID-19 pandemic, management and recovery special provisions, order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave to lay on the table of the House a copy of the following. Emergency powers, COVID-19, pandemic risk management number four, amendment number 13, order 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by ministers. Chair recognizes the honorable member for Sergeant Shaw. Mr. Speaker, I believe I beg leave to lay on the table of the House the Freedom of Information Act 2017, appointed the notice 2021. Order that the document be brought up. Order the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by Minister. Chair recognize the Honorable Member for Marco City. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I beg leave to lay on the table of the House a copy of the following. The Fisheries Act 2020 appointed day notice 2021. Order that the document be brought up. that the document do lie on the table. Further laying of documents by ministers. The chair recognizes the honorable member for Yamakro. Speaker, I beg leave to lay on the table of the House a copy of the following. The Immigration, Am uh, the Immigration Amendment Act 2020, appointment day notice 2021. Order that the document be brought up.
order that the document do lie on the table for the laying of documents by ministers. Statements and communications by ministers. And Mr. Speaker. Communications by the clerk. Messages from the Governor General. Messages from the Senate. Motions for leave of absence, leave to resign, seat, and new writ. Presentation of petitions. Presentation of reports of committees. Adoption of reports of committees. First reading of bills. Second reading and committal of bills. Committee of the whole house. Third reading and passing of bills. Consideration of Senate amendments. Resolutions. Member statement. Appointment of select committee. Instructions to select committee. Discharge of select committee. Notices for future meetings. Uh, the, the, yeah, the chair recognizes honorable member for the exomers on Ragged Island. I think I renew all notices on behalf of the opposition. Thank you, honorable member. The chair recognizes honorable member for Sandeville. Sandeville, you need to move to a microphone. I think I'd like to renew all notices in the name of uh, Sandoville. And also, I uh, would like to give notice of a question. And I'd like to know how many matters are before the Committee of Privilege and uh, for this session. Honorable member, um, the, the chair would have to make an inquiry and get back to you with, with a response to that question. Thank you. Any, any further notices for future meetings? The chair recognizes the honorable member for Kalani. Thank you, Mr. Gary. I rise to give notice that at next meeting we intend to debate the following resolution. Whereas Pursuant to Article 29 1 of the Constitution, the Governor General may make a proclamation of emergency declaring that a state of public emergency for the purposes of that article exists in the Bahamas. Whereas on the 20th day of March 2020, the proclamation of emergency was made by the Governor General declaring that a state of public emergency existed in the Bahamas, and this proclamation expired on the 29th of June 2020. And whereas on the 29th of June 2020, a second proclamation of emergency was made by the Governor General declaring that a state of public emergency existed in the Bahamas, and this proclamation expired on the 29th of December 2020. And whereas on the 24th day of November 2020, a third proclamation of emergency was made by the Governor General declaring that a state of public emergency exists in the Bahamas, and this proclamation is due to expire on the 23rd day of May 2021. Whereas pursuant to Article 29 4 of the Constitution, another proclamation of emergency may be made before the expiration of the proclamation of emergency extended under Article 29 5. And whereas pursuant to Article 29 4 of the Constitution, the Governor General made a proclamation of emergency here and after the proclamation dated the 14th day of May 2021, declaring a state of public emergency exists in the Bahamas. And whereas pursuant to Article 29.4 of the Constitution, the proclamation ceases to be enforced at the expiration of the period 14 days beginning on the date on which it was made, or such longer period as may be approved in the par paragraph 5 of Article 29 of the Constitution. And whereas Article 29.5 of the Constitution provides for the continuance and force of the proclamation. If at any time while the proclamation is enforced, a resolution is passed by each House of Parliament of 
proving its continuance and for us for the period or exceeding six months, beginning on the date in which it would otherwise expire, the proclamation shall, if not sooner revoked, continue in force for that for the period. And as to so the section thirty the section three one of the Emergency Powers Act, chapter twenty four thirty four, here and after the act. The Governor General made the emergency power of COVID-19 pandemic management and recovery regulation 2021 on the 14th day of May 2021. And whereas Section 3.3 of the Act provides that emergency regulations may empower such authorities or persons as may be specified in the regulation, make orders and rules for any of the purposes for which such regulations are authorized by the Act to be made. And they contain such incidental and supplementary provisions as appear to the Governor General to be necessary or expedient for the purposes of the regulation. And whereas the Emergency Powers COVID 19 Pandemic Management and Recovery Regulation 2021 empowers the company authority to make such orders. And whereas the Emergency Powers COVID 19 Pandemic Management and Recovery Order 2021 and the emergency powers COVID-19 pandemic management and recovery special provisions order 2021 were made by the company and authority on the 15th day of May 2021. And whereas, having regard to the continuing proliferation mm -hmm. of confirmed cases in neighboring jurisdictions and active cases in the Bahamas, and whereas the state of public emergency in the Bahamas continues to exist, and whereas as it continues to be necessary and expedient, for securing the public safety, defense of the Bahamas, the maintenance of public order, the suppression of mutiny, rebellion, and riot, and for maintaining supplies and services essential to the life and well being of the community in force, the proclamation, emergency powers, COVID 19 pandemic management and recovery regulations 2021. Emergency powers, COVID 19 pandemic management and recovery order 2021. And the emergency powers, COVID 19 pandemic management and recovery, special provisions order 21. Now, therefore, be it resolved that this house A approves the continuation of the proclamation of emergency made on the 14th day of May 2020 until the 13th day of August 2021. B affirms the continuance in effect of emergency powers 19 pandemic management and recovery regulations. Made on the 14th day of May 2021 until the 13th day of August 2021. Affirms the continuance in effect of the emergency powers COVID 19 pandemic management and recovery order 2021, made on the 16th day of May until the 13th day of August 2021. And affirms the continuance of the effect of the emergency power COVID 19 pandemic. Management, management and recovery special provisions order 2021 made on the 16th day of May 2021 until the 13th day of August 2021. The speaker, um, this resolution, the speaker, is our hope that we would not need the three months. It is our hope that uh, with the vaccination aggressively and progressively moving throughout the world and continue to the Bahamas that and with the cooperation with our populace and following the mitigation protocols of the pandemic, that we would see a, a turn and once that commenced, we would love to uh, remove all emergency power orders so that individuals can return back to their normal life following the new protocols of world standard and the world that was forth as quickly as possible. But I hope, Mr. Speaker, that not need the three months, and once we see the turn, we would be more than happy to um, remove the emergency powers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Member. All orders that the notice we brought up. All orders that the notice do lie on the table. Any further notices for future meetings? Which I recognize this Honorable Member for sudden show. Mr. Speaker, I rise to renew all matters in the name of the government and to give notice.
dati house the business of this house we now adjourn until wednesday 19th of may 2021 at 10 a.m honorable member for a second charge, the motion, the motion, adjournment. Mr. Speaker, I move that the business of this house adjourns until Wednesday 19th of May 2021 at 10 a.m. Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the house adjourns to Wednesday the 19th of May at 10 a.m. As many members that are in favor remain seated, those who oppose will stand. Final adjournment. For final adjournment, Mr. Speaker, I move that the business of this house adjourns until Wednesday, May 19th, 2021, at 10 a.m. Honorable members, it has been moved and seconded that the business of this house adjourns to 10 a.m. Wednesday, 19th of May, 2021. As many members that are in favor remain seated, those who oppose will stand. The House of Stands adjourned to 10 a.m. Wednesday, the 19th of May, 2021.